Hi everyone, it's Robin. I just wanted to share with you another DIY project that my husband had created for me. It's not completely done because I haven't painted it or anything and that probably will wait until summer. But I wanted to go ahead and share it with you because I'm super excited about it. To the left you can see uh, the stamp or punch storage that I shared with you a couple videos ago and I shared um, some more details on my blog. I'll go ahead and link that down below in case you missed that. But I have had ribbons for several years and I tend to not use them because I can't see them and I am definitely visual. If it's out of sight, I forget I have it and um, thankfully I haven't repurchased too many things, actually very few. Uh, have I double, doubled up on because of forgetting I own them, but again, if it's out of sight, I just don't use it. So obviously you can see I have a ton of ribbon, probably more than will last my lifetime. <laughs> Um, but this way I can at least remember to use it and it's hidden behind the door so it's not like a big eyesore with all the different ribbons because I, I didn't cat color categorize them which is typically the way that I um, do color, you know, coordinate things is by color but I instead decided to opt for um, satin and grosgrain, organza, organdy uh, the rosette trim up there you can see at the top. So I went by um, type of fabric or type of ribbon that it was. And so it's not color coordinated. That might bother some people. To me, um, that's I think is what's going to work. And I can obviously change it later. But I'm just so excited about it. It measures uh, 5 inches by 2 feet. And my husband set up two different types of dowels for me. And I'll just go in closer to be able to share that with you. First, I'll kind of back out so you can see the whole thing. At the bottom, I have little shelving and then also at the top I have shelving so um, matter of fact I'll just keep the tripod here and I'll zoom in that might work closer and please bear with me if it's a little shaky I'm holding the tripod uh, these are the rosette trims they are 20 yards on them that we got from making memories or they are making memories we got from scrapbook these were I think six and seven dollars and so I got all the different colors that I knew I would use and then as well as some other ones that you may recognize from scrapbook. I do have the green little flower lace, but I can't find it. I just used it the other day on a Valentine's project. And for some reason, when my son packed up for college, I haven't seen it since. So he may end up with 20 yards of minty green rosette or little flower trim <laughs> in his stuff. I have no idea. Hopefully I'll find it. But anyway, so you can see these are pretty big spools and these ones he made where I can t actually take them out because there are 20 yards or big, you know, things I wouldn't use very often like these from Hobby Lobby or this little boa trim or feathery trim over here. Sorry, I was off screen. I won't tend to use those very often, so I won't need to get to the middle one to switch that one out and um, that's just what worked and plus with the size variation they're quite big that just is what worked but for the regular size ones let me see this is one that I just picked up from the clearance bin at Stampin' Up! this one they just set in there so um, they're <laughs> you can see I have let me see quite a lot of ribbon but this is I think what's going to work really well because I can just grab it off there and they're just kind of they're just kind of set in there and so I, another thing that I like to do is when I tie a bow or you know use ribbon I like to keep it on the spool and so that that to me was a deterrent from using the dowel system like is what's up here sorry I'm really struggling with trying to I'm pointing and you're not seeing where I'm pointing um, so these ones I can just snip off what I want because usually it's just for trim it's not to tie or anything like that but with these other ones I wanted to be able to take them off and tie it tie whatever I needed uh, on my project and then snip it off from there and have a whole lot less waste of ribbon that way not that you know I think about running out of what I have, but just kind of using what I have wisely and being a good steward of the craft supplies that I have. So uh, anyway, this is the project that um, my husband did for me, and it just it fits really nicely in behind the door, out of sight, and um, very functional. <clears throat> I think I'll use a whole lot more ribbon now because it's right there. Like here's my um, craft 
desk and you can see I'm kind of starting a project here but so it's just right to the right of me and I think I'll use it a lot so uh, anyway I will have more pictures on my blog and I'll have that link down in the info bar and if you have any questions at all please just holler I'm always happy to help so um, one question um, maybe I can answer right now is these are three quarter inch dowels and then at the bottom he also used some quarter inch dowels for the tiny little American crafts uh, ribbons that we get and then the really small ones I'm probably giving you a shadow here but these really tiny ones from Joann's they're just sitting on the shelf there so that works out perfect for me and then I also have some that just came on like a card and then those are just set in over here so uh, anyway, I hope that that inspires you, maybe gives you a storage solution. If you have a whole boatload of ribbon like I do, uh, that may be helpful. And again, I didn't go out and purchase this all in one trip. This is like probably five years worth of just picking it up at good price or picking it up here and there for different projects. And that's how I have accumulated the amount of supplies that I have. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, mostly everything's been on sale or at a really good price or gifted to me so um, I just really appreciate everything that I have but again I want to be able to use it so this was a great storage solution for me and um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing it thanks so much for watching have a great day bye bye